Subject number three. Are we ready? Hulk Hogan's daughter breaks silence on not attending wedding. Over the weekend, the veteran wrestler tied the knot for the third time. Um, Brooke Hogan was nowhere to be found. However, amid the numerous speculations as why she wasn't there, the television personality is clearing the air about what truly happened. Hulk Hogan's daughter chose to create some distance with the family. Brooke took to Instagram to give an explanation. As many of you know, I value my privacy. Unfortunately, a lot of the media outlets are making assumptions as why I did not attend my father's third wedding. She began, instead of leaving it to speculation, I decided it's better to shut it all down here. The 35-year-old continued, As we all experience this with all our families, the dynamics of the family unit continuously change over the years. With that being said, my family has experienced a lot of change. I wish him well. Opening up, Jimmy Farrow, Brooke Hogan. Nope. Brooke Hogan. Okay, well, at least I heard the Brooke Hogan part because I actually know what's going on with this. Uh, as far as Brooke Hogan goes, it sounds like, and I really hate that we even get to hear about this crap because I don't even feel like I care or it's any of my business. But apparently, Hulk Hogan and Brooke are not so close. It's pretty obvious. Uh, you know, being a regular guy, just a regular old person with a regular old job and a regular old life, it's really hard to uh, for me to sit here and try to figure out what exactly Brooke Hogan is so upset about. There's been a lot of change. Yeah, there's been a lot of change. Your father's Hulk Hogan. What do you think? He's going to be boring? going to be boring? He's Hulk Hogan. How many changes has he had in his life? How many things has he done to get over, to make sure that he stays over, to make sure the bank account is good so he can take care of a no-talent, spoiled, lousy voice singing daughter like you, sister? <laughs> I seriously, what is your problem? He got married. Go to the wedding. Oh, my God. You got to think it through, right? I, well, you know, it's really hard having Hulk Hogan as my dad. I can't tell what to do. Maybe I'll have a filet tonight, or maybe I should get some broiled fish. I'm really not sure. I could get my nails done. Oh, shut up. Really? <laughs> Go to your father's wedding. What the hell's wrong with you? I Like I got any more after that? Ding, ding. <laughs> you get a point just for that. <laughs> Next yeah. up, the player, Benny Scala. Benny. Look Hogan, Benny. How do I follow that? Jeez. But <laughs> I'll, I'll try. So I actually, I, I think what Brooke was trying to say in so many words is my family is fucked up. And she, she said it quite <laughs> eloquently. Uh you know, if you look at that family, the, the son, Nick, is a train wreck. The, the, the ex-wife, Linda, dates high school sophomores. And Hulk <laughs> marries women that look like his fucking daughter. So no to exactly. Hulk. Not, not every, you don't have to, there are other women in this world that don't have blonde hair that don't look like Linda. Uh, now, with all that there being are? said, though. <laughs> really? With all that being said, uh, I mean, the, like, like Jimmy said, I mean, who? Where would Brooke Hogan be if she was Brooke McGillicuddy, not the daughter of Hulk Hogan? <laughs> she'd, be, she'd be singing in a freaking bowling alley somewhere, or like dancing at a booby bar. So, how about a little bit of gratitude for your father? I mean, what? Yeah. You know, just think about think about the ride you've had for the last thirty-five years. Think about how privileged you've been. It's like the movie Trading Places at the end. Uh, when he says, should we have lobster or crack crab? Why don't we have both? She had both every <laughs> damn day of her life. So for God's sakes, you know, I mean, I get it. Your family's messed up. But, I mean, whose family is not messed up? Come on. Give you, Hulk needs to be happy like everybody else. Brother. Yeah. Nice yeah. job, Benny. What a rebound. Oh, Holy man. cow. All right. Next up, Bruce from ESO, Brooke Hogan. Brooke who? Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. She, she, she's still around? I mean, <laughs> does she really have a career still? Uh, let's face it. Hulk no. Hogan, there would be no Brooke Hogan if it weren't for Hulk Hogan. It's a, it's, it's a Brooke Bollea. She's got no real talent. How many, how many careers has Hulk Hogan helped this girl get into? Let's see. She was a singer. 
Then she was on ah! Hogan Knows Best. And she gets her own uh. show that sucked. Uh, Brooke, Brooke Knows Best. And then, uh, let's see, she was brought into AEW and they tried to make her a valet and they tried to, to make her into a wrestler. And she released albums along the way. And guess what? She still means nothing. Last I heard, she was on the re- touring the wrestling circuit doing autographs. Come on. And then you, you're going to disrespect your father? You know what this is? You're looking for attention because you're irrelevant at this point. That's the only reason you're, you're saying this stuff. Come on. I, I can't even believe they're giving her a platform. And let, let, Well, maybe it's because maybe Brooke's upset because she's not the hotter blonde in, uh, in the Hogan family at this point. I don't know. Is the, is the new girl younger than her? I don't, I, I don't know. It's, it's got to be something. Or maybe it's because Hogan's not dating one of her friends again. Oh, wasn't that happening a couple of those times? Man, that, that Hogan family, they're just a train wreck in general. Come on, man. <laughs> That's it. I zero. Oh, yeah, 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 I had a zero. Bruce, you are, you zero. on a roll, brother. You on a roll. That's man, some big man. bounce backs. Phil, you're the in a hard wife spot is 40. Right I think now. the new wife is 45. <laughs> Phil, you're on the clock. Uh, no. You're on. All right. Well, you know, as Gorilla Monsoon used to say, conspicuous by his absence, I think um, in the quest for attention, I mean, when you think about it, I think Brooke could get more attention from not attending the wedding than from actually attending. So I think this might be a little bit of a, you know, of an attention seeking kind of grab too, you know. I I guess it was a quiet ceremony on the island, just a few people present, Nick and and a few others, and the bride's children too, and... uh, That's all well and good. Can't compare to Hogan's first wedding now in Japan where uh, Andre was there and Anoki was there and it was just a big to-do and a big celebration. And sadly, those guys aren't with us anymore. But yeah, I think think she's uh, looking to be relevant and um, I think this is her way of expressing it. And I agree and I'll tell you, Playa, you stole my thunder about this odd look-alike situation, this this, uh, this Shakespearean dynamic, this Oedipal Electra complex thing going on there, where you know this um, um, you know Valley of the Dolls, the Stepford wife thing, they're all looking alike and everything. And um, uh, I, I'm just uh, you know I'm not surprised. We know so much about this guy in his life anyway. To me, he's still a hero. He's still a national treasure. And you know we build up our heroes and we tear them down, and then we just we just delve deep into the coffin, interviewing worms after they die. It's just, it's too much, man. You know, let them have some peace and some quiet, and let's not Great cast job, the attention. Great job, Phil. Great job. Unreal 